I'm down in the garage and my last video uh, upstairs I was saying about how it's it's leaking a lot of heat through the floor so that would be the ceiling downstairs here which I do not have insulated you see that maybe the light is glary so I still have some things that I want to do on the floor um, I need to rewire the smoke detectors so that they're all linked. I didn't do that when I first put them in, and I think I'll have to punch holes through the floor up into the into the walls, uh, inside and outside the bedroom, and then down here. I'm gonna have two, so that'll make everything linked together. Because I don't want a fire to be down here, get really going, and then we don't hear the alarm until it's you know broken through the floor. That'd be bad. So I'm losing the heat. It's this is the temperature down here right now. Upstairs it's like 70 degrees and down here it's 53. And outside it's uh, 32 degrees Fahrenheit freezing. And I have my thermal camera here. It's not a floor, but you can see that the floor there, and I have this set with a fixed value. It's a lot easier to see. The floor there is uh, up near 69, you know, 70 degrees. Maybe a little bit less because it's radiating the heat down and it's radiating the heat against the cool floor which is 64 65 degrees in this case now the downstairs is partially insulated here's my garage door you can see it has foam insulation but it still has the metal bits and you can compare a wall to the right there which is a two by four wall insulated to that the garage door is still a little bit colder, and the tracks are freezing cold. Uh, over here I have, right there is a, a door that I have closed up, caulked around, and I have um, shelves in front of. Oh yeah, I suppose I should tell you, this is a Seek Thermal, uh, whatever the carbon fiber one is. I'll put a link to it in the description. I like this instead of the floor. I know this doesn't have the MSX technology where it overlays... An actual camera with stuff but it's a higher resolution it's like 320 by 240 whereas the floor is only 120 by 90 or something so this is a lot higher resolution and when I dial these temp temperatures down to very fine amounts I can see studs in the walls so this is a stud detector um, it can also detect moisture um, Sorry, that's glare on the screen. Here's a, a gap between the two pads. You can tell it's a little bit cooler than the rest of the floor. Because this is where the I have a dehumidifier. It's just draining right there into this gap. And this is where they had a form that was 2 by 4s So going on, we can look at other things. Here I have a radiator that I just plugged in. It's not even really hot yet. So I can, I can touch it. Well, okay, it's kind of hot, actually. And then move it around. We can also see other things, like there's a window. And for the winter, um, one of the projects I'm going to do in the next few days here is put foam in front of those, like one-inch foam with some sort of caulking or something that's not permanent. And that'll keep those from losing a lot of heat. Let's see what else we can see down here. So right there is my drain stack. Um, the dishwasher is running. So you can see the drain stack is hot. And then there's a portion of this downstairs garage that is not insulated. And we can see that here. I have a lot of stuff in front of the walls, but you can see the walls behind and over there are colder than here which is an insulated wall. And actually I can go outside and show you that, the heat loss. So just hang tight, I'm trying to do this in one take. Okay, so it's insulated to about there and then it's not insulated. So let's see what the camera sees. Oh, it's too cold, let me adjust this. Options, done, menu, um, modes, we do normal. Okay. 
you can see there this is automatically determining the high and low points you can see i'm losing a lot of heat there in the back portion and this is a normal two by four insulated wall this wall is you know the garage so that's 53 degrees inside in my house let me back up so you can see this a little better all right there we can see it that bright spot in the middle is a light you can see um, the wall upstairs with r40 insulation is basically blue it's as cold as the outside here the garage is r13 insulation normal 2x4 stud bay is doing okay and then there with no insulation it's losing a lot all of the heat so i need to get that insulated too oh we can also look at the the mini split oh well, you can see it's a little warm there because of the pump is making that a little bit warm but we can go around to the other edge here and see the coils and the coils are colder than the building so it's outside the, the coils are sucking heat from the outside and putting it inside so that's how they work there's a good distinct difference between inside temperature and outside And you can see my garage door here where it's leaking air around the top there and i'm losing a lot of heat through the slab so i guess a significant portion of the heat that i'm losing from the house is coming out through the slab of the garage and we can also look up here now remember this is automatically adjusting so you can see that it's warmer up near the top you see three bright things there there's an led light on the right an intake and a return duct for my heat exchanger. You can see the windows are losing a little bit of heat too. And there's the road. You can see my neighbor's house there and the, the clouds have different, if not different temperatures, then different uh, radiation qualities. So I can adjust the mode here to full frame and it gives me on the top right there a, a minimum and a maximum so negative nine for the clouds you can see that the house there and the cars are 45 degrees fahrenheit approximately in my house here that door being open you can see the maximum there is 66 that's probably near the top and the coldest if you go over here, it sees the sky, and that's negative. But if you just go to the ground, it's 27. This is... Okay, one thing about this temperature here is it's... Let me shut the door. That road noise is a little bit irritating. My fingers are cold. The temperature on this is not calibrated, so I can't trust the actual values there at all. You can see that... The cold spots there, 42. And then here, an insulated wall. Cold spots are 53. So my uninsulated walls are an additional 10 degrees colder. And there's a fluorescent light. It's pretty warm. And over here, this is where the dishwasher is. We can see that it's putting out a lot of heat through the drain. And the floor is a little bit warm too, right under the dishwasher. Right there. So, that's another slightly irritating thing about this is you can't like point your camera at what it sees. I mean, I guess you can sort of there, but that's not ideal. Okay, um, hope you like that little adventure in uh, thermography, and I'll see you around.